body, but the body, body, pretty little risky body. More than do that, do that, I just catch me if you got it. Body, but the body, body, not enough, so doggy, eat me. I'll chop him, I'll charge it, Danny, catch me if you got it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm back with my voice today. But, anyways, today I will be making a video that I kind of made a while back, but I enlisted that now. I'm basically gonna be remaking that video with better editing. <laughs> and hopefully some new tips. So, yeah. Let's get started. Okay, and we're going to start off with number one, or in my opinion, one of the most important ones you need to get views. It is your thumbnail for your video. Thumbnails are kind of what make people want to click on your video. If there's not a good thumbnail that attracts the viewer, they're not going to they're not going to watch it. So, my trick is kind of put the most popular thing that's in your video in your thumbnail. For example, if in your video you have some uh, underrated songs or something, and you have a Blackpink B-side, you have a Twice B-side, and then you have like an Everglow song or something, what you're going to want to do is put a Blackpink member in the thumbnail, because people like Blackpink more, I think we've seen that now, so, if you have a really popular person in your thumbnail, people are going to want to click on it. That's just kind of how it works, and that's how I started getting views when I was first starting. And the good thing about this is that it's not clickbait, because it's actually in your video. So, yeah, I think it's pretty neat. Alright, so number two is another one which should kind of help with getting views. It is to make YouTube shorts. Now, I had always made long videos when I first started, and they'd all be getting around like 20-30 views. If you make YouTube shorts, you'll notice how they'll just get more views, because people are always on YouTube shorts. And that's something that kind of helped boost my view count, if that makes sense. If you're someone who wants views, then YouTube shorts is a really good way to get those. From YouTube shorts, you can gain subscribers, and then those subscribers will watch your long videos, which is kind of just how it's going to work. So. YouTube Shorts is always a good way to go. Now, this one's really important. Number three is to have good editing. Now, if you're just starting off, then obviously you're not going to have the best editing. And that's okay, because we'll all improve from the beginning. Basically, what you're, some main points that you're going to want to hit is to have legible fonts, because if you can't read it, why are you going to watch it, right? Unless there's like a voiceover or something in the background. And number two is to have simple transitions. Don't, like, make everything too much, you know? At least for me, I like watching more simpler videos, and you can get inspiration from other YouTubers. I don't know how I came up with mine. I completely forgot. But, yeah, make sure you have somewhat good editing that people are going to want to watch. For number four, my tip is to follow the trends. If you notice, lots of trends, they always get views. So, if you want to gain subscribers and views, try doing ideas that you've noticed are already gaining views. Which I know is hard, because you probably have all these original ideas that are obviously going to be amazing. But the problem is, is that not many people are going to watch those unless it just happens to be... Something happens. It's a miracle, and people like it. Which can happen. It does happen. But when you're, when you're starting off, I would suggest trying trends, because those are already popular. Number five is to have short intros. This one's kind of more of a side note, and if you make YouTube shorts... Or if you watch YouTube shorts, you know what I mean. Some people's intros are like 15 seconds long. We don't want that. I try and keep my intros like maximum 9 seconds. I usually keep it around 7 to 8 seconds. That then gives the information that you need. And it also... It's like... It's, it's short enough. And that's what we want. So try doing that. Number 6 is a very obvious one. Be a friendly person. If you're not a nice person you're not going to get subscribers. Engage with your fans, talk with them, just be a nice person in general, and you'll be doing fine. Number seven, this one's just kind of a side note as well, have a good theme. If you don't know what that is, it's just your profile picture, your banner, your description. Now, if you don't know how to make these good themes, a really basic one that I recommend is to just choose whatever profile picture you want. Maybe it's a soft theme, dark theme, whatever you want, any profile picture. And then choose a random color from that profile picture and make that into your banner. I'll show that 
Maybe I'll make another video on it, maybe I won't, but that's just like the basic idea of it. If I do, it'll be in the pinned comment. Anyways, for your description, what you're going to want to do is just basic information about yourself. You want the viewer to feel welcome, so, you know, introduce yourself, what kind of content you'll make, your stand list, all that stuff. You want to make sure whoever is watching it feels like they're welcome into your channel and they know enough about you to watch you. And number eight, the most important one, enjoy what you're doing. Don't do KTube if it's not something that you don't want to do. If you don't like editing, then you don't have to. It's like, from what I see it, don't do it because you want to earn money or something because it's it's going to be really hard to earn money as a K-pop YouTuber because of all the copyright and stuff. Do it because you love editing. Do it because you love putting your opinions out there. Just do it because it's something that you love rather than because why not. I think editing is fun, so that's why I'm doing it. You should do that too. There are always K-Tubers who are quitting because of how unmotivated they are, how they're not getting any views. Just, it'll get better over time. So if you really enjoy it, keep doing it. There's no reason to quit. And if you don't enjoy it, then stop doing it. It's always up to you. If it's something that you're not enjoying, then don't do it, you know? Well, that's it for today, and I hope that these tips help if you are wanting to start a KTube channel. Let me know down below if you're starting one so that I can go subscribe. And yeah, that's about it today. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm a baddie, but the baddie, baddie, pretty little risky baddie. More than dirt, dead, 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 catch me if you're glad. I'm a baddie, but the